Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to send contacts from a Google Sheet into MailChimp automatically using Zapier. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And when you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments and that will help other people find it as well. There are a million reasons why you may want to automate this process. Maybe you are already adding contacts to a Google Sheet and you don't want to have to export the list and then import it into MailChimp every time. This will just take care of it for you. This is also a way to bulk subscribe contacts that are already in your MailChimp account. If somehow you accidentally um, unsubscribed a ton of contacts in your MailChimp account or if they are all non-subscribed, importing with this integration will switch them all over to subscribed. Let's get into it. I'm going to head over here to Zapier. Zapier is a platform that connects programs together that don't have a native integration. So there isn't a way to connect them together by themselves. Um, Zapier is the middleman for that. They have a bunch of different price plans, including a free one. They charge by the number of zaps that you send which is like one piece of information going from one place to the next. Um, so you very well could do this totally free. I have gone ahead and logged in here. I'm going to start a new zap. I'm actually going to skip this AI thing they've created and use their button. I'm going to create a zap. Zaps have a trigger and then an action. Our trigger will come from the Google Sheet and our action is that it's being added to MailChimp. Before I get all the way into that, I'm going to hop over here to my Google Sheet. I have a contact list already set up here, but you can absolutely start with a blank sheet. You just want to make sure that you have your columns labeled so you know where to map your fields. You'll also want to make note of the name of your file and the name of your tab because Zapier will be asking those questions. If you are starting from a blank sheet, you will want one contact in here so that it can run a test when you set it up. All right, back over to Zapier. So our trigger, will come from Google Sheets. And you can see there's so many programs that you could connect in here. Once you start doing these, you're going to want to do so many more. The event that we're going to use is a new or updated spreadsheet row. I've already logged into my account, so that is pulling that up. Now we're going to pick our sheets. They're going to auto load. There we go. Spreadsheet name, the worksheet. That is that little tab at the bottom. You may only have one. Our trigger is any column, continue. And now it's going to pull up a test row. If you only have one, there's only going to be one, but you can pick which one you use as the test. And now where is it going? So mine is going to MailChimp, right back here to events. And you want to pick add or update subscriber. Again, I'm already logged in, but this is where you would sign into your MailChimp account. Pick your audience that it's going to. You probably only have one audience, but I'm busy demonstrating things over here, so I have more than one. We're going to map our fields, so we need to pick which one has the email addresses. We're going to say false to a double opt-in. We need to update existing contacts. We're not adding any groups or tags, but if you wanted it to add a tag, so you knew where these contacts were coming from, it would add a tag in MailChimp. I'm also going to map this first name and last name. If you have fields on your spreadsheet that are not in MailChimp yet, you do need to add them to MailChimp first. So you would go to audience. Let's just do it. You would go to audience settings, audience fields. You would create those fields here, hit save, then head back over to Zapier so that you could map them correctly. All right, we're going to test it. It worked. We're going to publish. So now that is turning on. So right now it's actually asking me if I want to transfer any existing data. So those contacts that I already have in that list, I actually do want to bring them into MailChimp. So I'm going to say yes to that. To select all on this. And send. Okay, so that is doing its thing. From now on, anytime you add a field down here, it will trigger your zap. Now it can take several minutes for these zaps to go through, so you do have to be a little bit patient. If you head over to Zapier, then you go to History, it will show you all of the ones that have gone through recently. And of course, you go to MailChimp and check that as well. 
Well, there we go. I can't wait for that to work for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure I will be making many more Zapier videos. I love this platform. I also make content over all sorts of MailChimp email stuff. So check out my other videos and I'll see you around.